So recently, the London Abused Women's Center announced that they were going to be forced to shut down their anti-human trafficking program due to a stop in funding from the federal government. So this was a very important uh, program to help deal with the very serious issue of human trafficking in Canada. And this program, it helped around 3,100 young women in the country, right? It's expected to end on uh, May 29th, which is a very sad thing because this is such a serious program and the fact that funding towards it is going to be cut is very frightening and alarming. For the executive director of the London Abused Women's Centre, the cut in funding runs deep. I feel sick. That's how I feel. I feel sick. Megan Walker says it's taken years to develop the program to fight sex trafficking and assist the women involved. All we know is there's no funding for programs like ours across the country. The individuals who are going to suffer are those who are sometimes most marginalized in our society. Um, women and girls who are forced into the sex trade um, to do horrendous things and it's actually really heartbreaking. Walker says the cut is substantial because they received $800,000 from the federal government over five years. However, the organization is saying that uh, provincially funded programs are gonna to continue to operate. Uh, Locke says that the funding for proposals that were sent to the Justice Department Victims of Crime Fund is what it's called. They said that they were denied due to a lack of funding, but Locke also says that they were promised by the federal government $57 million in 2019 to combat human trafficking. But that seems like it's not going to happen anymore, unfortunately. And according to the, the ministries of justice and the ministries of gender uh, equality, they were saying that the funds, which is called the measures to address prostitution initiatives, right? They were saying that this was a fund that was supposed to be enacted over five years and it was slated to end in March of 2020. So now they're saying that they're going to work with uh, stakeholders and like the provinces to find how they're going to continue on to help these very essential you know programs that are gonna are helping out these survivors of human trafficking sex trafficking right the office of the minister of justice responded in part by saying supported by funding of 75 million dollars the national strategy to combat human trafficking will work to rescue or prevent women and children from being forced into the sex trade and in the coming months, we'll be collaborating with provinces and territories. Still, Walker says more needs to be done at a time when billions are being spent on COVID relief. She claims some of the money may be going to businesses that support trafficking. It really upsets me that there is so much money right now being given out for COVID. Um, there w was a loan given to businesses in the sex trade, and some of that includes traffickers who own businesses and some organized crime. And yet that's going to increase trafficking still, but those women and girls will not have a place to go. Mind you, it's very important to know that Ontario is a, a large hub for human trafficking. In fact, about 65% of the police reported cases of human trafficking come from Ontario. And I believe about 70% of those cases, they relate to sexual exploitation. And the sad reality uh, of human trafficking is that a lot, of, a lot of the survivors, they happen to be very young women. Like, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but most women, they report first being sex trafficked like at the age of 14, right? And the people that are typically at risk are like people of the LGBTQ community, Aboriginal women. They represent a very large portion of that as well too. Yeah, there's, uh, there's many different people who are at risk. Like even, there's even growing evidence that even people who are like, you know, not from unstable housing or social conditions, they're becoming more of a target for, for human traffickers because they, they, they can literally be preyed on anywhere. Like this, this doesn't just happen like in alleys. Like girls are unfortunately uh, victimized and brought into this criminal uh, underworld in malls, in parties. It's a very, very disturbing uh, problem that's happening. So I don't know what the hell the Liberal government is doing in, in stopping the funding for this very fucking important program because like these girls, they don't have time to for you guys to wait months or whatever. You need to be working on it now. We owe it to these young women, especially Prime Minister Trudeau, Mr. Feminist. If you, if you claim to really be a feminist, then I believe it's incumbent on your government to continue funding these important programs because again, they don't have any time to wait. So I'd like to see these programs uh, back up and running and I'm sure that they can find the money somehow. Like if you, if you guys can bail out the oil and gas industries and I'm pretty sure you guys can do this as well too. But yeah, 
Uh, that's my thoughts on that. I hope that liberals provide more funding to these programs because this problem can't go un unanswered. And mind you, these funds weren't just going towards the London Abused Women Committee. There are other programs that were using these funds towards outreach programs to help mothers find their missing daughters and they're helping helping these survivors reintegrate into society. Like, just went into trauma counseling. So I really hope that they immediately continue the f funding of this. Yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.